All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Here I am back on the Mississippi River. It's a few hours before dark. Last year I tried this and the river was up in the parking lot. Uh, it's still high because it's springtime, the end of April. But we're gonna get out here and see if we can have some better luck. I caught some fish last time, but I couldn't fish it like I wanted to. Too dangerous out there. And it's still swift but it's a lot better than it was, so let's get this boat out. Hope we don't get rammed up between these barges with the strong current and see if we can catch us a catfish in the mightiest river in America. My depth finder keeps shutting off on me. It ain't been working right in weeks. I hope it works today. I've already turned it on, it shut off. I just turned it on again. I have no reading of the bottom of this river other than by going over it with a depth finder. The map show me nothing. y'all yeah I'm having problems that thing has shut off on me three times I really don't want to night fish out here because I need to watch some kind of GPS going in between them barges after dark so I would prefer to last time I was here these fish wanted gizzard shad they wouldn't touch a skipjack so I'm gonna throw at least one gizzard shad bait out I got a big buffalo carp that I can't cut up it don't work worth a dang in Tennessee, but it may work great here. I hope this barge coming up here ain't going to cause me a bunch of turbulence. I hope he ain't coming beside me. This is a big fish.
It's gonna be a while. Well, he's not that big. He just feels big in the Mississippi current. He's nice, though. Yeah. That fish felt like it was 100 pounds in this current. Hey, it's still a good first fish. We've been here five minutes. I thought that fish was way bigger than that in this current. Yeah, these river fish fight way harder than them reservoir fish. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I thought that thing was 100 pounds. Well, they will eat skipjack. Now I wish I'd brought more of those. It looks like there's catfish in the Mississippi River. All right, y'all, them barges was driving me crazy up there. Uh, they'll still come by here, but they don't seem to be trying to park nothing in this area, so we'll give it a minute here. I don't have that long this first day. Got something going on right here. <coughs> Gosh dang it, he come off, man. Well, y'all, we had a shot at another one. Don't know what we had a shot at. Well, all right, y'all. I had a couple hours to fish after I got here before sunset. Two fish in that first spot. Bar just kind of ran me out. Had something else hit me immediately here, and everything kind of stopped. I'm not going to night video due to my bright lights shining on these barge workers that are obviously pretty busy in this part of the river. Plus it's kind of tricky if you don't know where you're at navigating your boat through those barges back to the ramp. So we'll continue this video in the morning. I'll have much more time then. I'm optimistic about the morning bite. What I'm not optimistic about is the amount of bait I brought with me. Total of three shad, three skipjack, 
and a buffalo, and I've only got one skipjack head left, so we'll see what happens. Catch y'all in the morning. All right, y'all, it's the next morning. I've been sitting at this ramp an hour wanting to catch this morning bite. And there's some barge right here. And he's just churning up the water where I can't launch. I've been here about an hour hoping he's gonna move, hoping he's gonna do something besides burn diesel fuel and keep me from launching. So far, he's just burning diesel fuel and keeping me from launching. So uh, we might miss the morning bite today. I may end up having to go to another ramp somewhere upriver uh, and still fishing the dag blasted afternoon bite. The morning bite's what I was counting on, man. But we'll see what happens here. All right, y'all, we've missed in the morning bite. It's an hour later. This guy is still parked here, churning up the whole ramp area. Now, I'm fixing to risk tearing my boat. There's a, a big set of rocks. He's automatically gonna push me over as soon as I put this boat in the water. I'm launching by myself. Why they would purposely churn up a public ramp when they could be facing any direction, parked anywhere, just to sit and turn up a public ramp like this, I don't know. But I think I'm fixing to launch, risk tearing my boat up. This is a six hour drive, man. And if I miss the morning bite, it's gonna be a slow day the rest of the day. And uh, we've already missed most of it. It's almost 10 o'clock. So I think I'm fixing to go for it. Hope I don't tear my boat up too bad. This ain't gonna be easy. I had to get my feet wet. Well, we didn't die launching the boat, but the day ain't over yet. Getting a way later start than I wanted. Man, I sat there forever. I was worried about him pushing me over this big bunch of rocks, and it did. But yeah, it, it was a rough launch, but I got it in the water. I'm always complaining about no current down on the Tennessee River. We've got current here, I can tell you that. So far, we've been here 15 minutes and ain't caught jack squat. There's a lot of barges out here, I'll tell you that.
Ain't seeing no skipjack. Ain't seeing no catfish, not yet. I got something swimming off into the channel with that bait. Nice and slow. He's in that other line. He's in that other line. That's how you lose fish. Old blue catfish. Blue catfish. Mm. Well y'all, just for a little update, I have missed two good fish. One went extremely slow like a flathead. I went to reel, didn't hook up. Then I had something felt like a bigger blue that I didn't hook up with. Just a string of luck today from getting a late start at that ramp and everything has kind of went sour on me today. Either way, morning bite is just about over. And we have come up with the Mississippi River Blue Kit. A Mississippi River Channel Cat. This wind's blowing up river, not good. Old Channel Cat. We're gonna have to come out of this. It was cool this morning. Here comes a barge. I hope he's not coming right in here like they did yesterday. I'll have to move. All right, y'all, it's 12 noon. The hour of suck, the hour I typically don't have any luck. I'm gonna give this a little longer and then I'm gonna change tactics. We're getting our butts kicked right here.
out here on a road trip, last thing you want is a $1,600 fish finder to not work. It started acting up a couple weeks ago, just shutting off all the time. Sometimes you can get it to work most of the day. Sometimes it shuts off every 30 seconds and it's useless. It waits till I'm six hours from the house to become useless. It just shut off again. I got some barge heading straight for me. I guess he wants to put in right here. So I guess I'm gonna move from this spot. We may just go to the house. We are on the Ohio River in Paducah, Kentucky. I was fixing to just go to the house and I said, you know what? It's still daylight. I figured I'd put in this Ohio River and give it one more shot for about another hour. I couldn't even get my camera turned on. And I'm already hooked up with something, I don't know what. Right off the bank here, about 25 foot of water. This whole river is only about 25 foot deep here. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's a dark blue cat. Very dark blue catfish. No, that's a dark channel catfish. Big channel cat. I had this line threw out for a flathead right here. An old big old channel cat come eat it. I'm not gonna spin the boat around. I'm just gonna tell you it's a big, big channel cat. Ohio River. Dag blasted sun in the camera. We get a real fish, we'll turn the boat around. Now my fish finder is working. When I go home, I'm going to take a baseball back to that thing and I'm going to get a Garmin next time. Well, we have not been skunked on the Mississippi and we have not been skunked on the Ohio. Boy, that skipjack head got nailed. Turn the hook a little bit. Man, that thing got nailed. Y'all, I'll tell you what, I ain't having no luck on this trip. I believe we just had a shot at a good one. I'll try it one more time. Craziest trip I've been on in a long time. That's on that skipjack head again.
He's just a rowing in that Ohio River current. go y'all we got a looks like a good blue cat in the Ohio River yeah that's a good one right there that's the heaviest fish of the trip if he stays on yeah. <laughs> that's a fat Ohio River cat right there boy whoo We'll turn the boat around for this. Get a good shot of him. Oh yeah, that's a pretty fish. That's my first Ohio River blue cat fish, y'all. All right, y'all, this fish has beat himself up, has beat me up. Oh, it's heavy. It's old fat thing, man. Been a trouble getting hold of this thing. Whew. First Ohio River catfish Whew. on the craziest road trip I've ever been. Now my death finder's working. Coming up high, don't, don't get in that other line. Don't get in the other line. Yeah. Oh, man. Not as big as the one, but it's another. Ohio River blue catfish. Still a nice fish. He's shorter than that Mississippi River fish, but probably weighs just as much. They fatter up in this river for some reason. Hang on, I'm trying to get my net out of the rod holder here. Having difficulty. Dang it. Now it's in the other rod holder. Now it's in that rod holder. I've got it caught in three different rod holders in my camera. Trying to net this fish. Yeah, these fish are short but heavy, man. We'll spin that boat out of the sun a little bit. 
If this was Watch Bar, that'd be a big old fish right there. <laughs> Yeah, if we was in Fort Loudon, that'd be a monster. Well, all right, y'all. The Mississippi River almost tamed me it again. I almost didn't come. I spent all day and caught just three shad. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I went to the town of Loudon off the bank. I hooked three skipjack in one throw and got them in. I said, okay, I'll go up here. As I came in, uh, I was supposed to check into a motel. The GPS took me the wrong road. I ended up at the ramp, but having to go back and find the right road, find the motel. Uh, so I ended up getting just a little bit of time yesterday. My debt finder has been acting up for about a week, and I almost didn't even come. Then I get up this morning and did not want to launch with that barge, churning all that water up like that, me being by myself. Two guys, one able to sit in the boat and get it uh, out of harm's way. Yeah, that's one thing, but me by myself... And then leaving it down there in that churning water uh, with hardly nowhere to tire it off, I finally put in anyway. Got into the Mississippi, caught a couple fish. Barge traffic drove me crazy. I wanted to change tactics, do some bumping uh, and some drifting in certain areas. But my depth finder went out. Uh, there's a lot of crazy sandbars and stuff in that part of the Mississippi. A lot of wild currents. I did not want to have uh, no depth finder. I was almost on the way back, man, and I said no. I went to Cairo, Illinois, and did not like the area of that ramp. And so I came here through Paducah, stopped here, uh, and caught another three fish. And we've only been here, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. Craziest road trip I've ever took. I'm going to tie my anchor to this rod over here so I can get a good thumbnail. And then I got about a six hour drive. This is a video. There was fish in the video that makes the fishing video. This is Catfish Day from the Mississippi and Ohio River signing out.